Since the early settlement of the southern Appalachia, the population of mountain communities have been scarce and spread out, leading to the formation of the stereotype that the mountain people were isolated, static, and underdeveloped. While this notion isn't entirely true, the size and distribution of mountain towns did limit their availability to medical care. It was very rare for a town to have a health center. Before Eula Hall's establishment of the Mud Creek Clinic, mountaineers would receive treatment from a single doctor who would travel county to county. Because medical attention wasn't readily available, Appalachian people had to turn to other methods, folk medicine. For many mountain families, folk remedies were the primary source of nursing. Methods were learned from knowledge passed down through generations. Traditional Appalachian medicament was greatly shaped by Native American customs, as well as the diverse cultures of early mountain settlers. Various forms of medicinal remedies and antidotes in southern Appalachia were influenced by the native vegetation available to harvest, and the religious and superstitious beliefs that were passed down from traditions and folk history. Many of these homemade cures are made with common mountain species, such as ginseng, bloodroot, and snake root. Quite often, these recipes include the use of assorted alcoholic beverages, namely moonshine. However, some folk remedies are a bit outlandish. In the event that someone were to get an earache, they would be instructed to blow smoke from a cigarette or pipe into the ear, or put pebbles in the ear to draw moisture. Or, in a more serious case, such as skin cancer, the patient would be remedied by drinking the breast milk of a fellow church member. Though mainstream biomedicine criticized the practice and effectiveness of customary health care, it was the only option for many Appalachian homes. It wasn't until the creation of the Mud Creek Clinic, however, that the citizens of Floyd County and surrounding and eastern Kentucky were able to receive modern medical care to replace the widely used system of traditional folk medical practices. The county itself was founded in 1800 and operated mostly as a coal mining county, as it is located within the eastern Kentucky coal field region. Floyd County developed as a poor region of eastern Kentucky, while its people subsisted on minimum compensation and resided in, in impoverished dwellings. By the late 1960s and early 1970s, Floyd County was still operating on no substantial medical center. The Mud Creek Clinic was founded in 1973, opening its doors to serve all residents of eastern Kentucky willing to visit. It stood to serve the looked-over mountain communities that received no government-funded medical support, and also accepted all poor and uninsured residents in need. None of this could have been done, however, without the help and support of its founder, Eula Hall. Born and raised in Greasy Creek, Kentucky in 1927, Eula Hall is considered one of the most active advocates for modern health care in southern Appalachia. Her childhood consisted of working at home on her family's farm and later attending school at Mud Creek Elementary until 8th grade. During World War II, Hall went to New York to work in a canning factory, which is where her first signs of activism appeared. At 15, Eula was sent home early for inciting a riot in order to bring attention to the poor labor conditions the employees had to work in. She later joined the East Kentucky Workers' Rights Organization, and during President Johnson's War on Poverty, joined the Volunteers in Service to America. She also created the Mud Creek Water District and served as president. The Mud Creek Clinic was formed in response to the failed attempt at aiding the poverty in the East Kentucky region. It was founded using only $1,400 in donations and two local volunteer doctors from Floyd County. The clinic was located in a rented trailer park, but was built later and moved to Eula's own home. She converted her house into exam rooms, offices, waiting rooms, and medical closets while her and her family lived in the rest. Eula would spend most of the day working in the clinic and the night delivering prescription medication to clinic visitors who came in earlier that day. Eula Hall's dedication to the lives of the people of Appalachia has earned her many awards and honorary degrees.
Today, the Mud Creek Clinic still continues to operate and serve the citizens of Eastern Kentucky. It has merged with another medical provider for a neighboring county to form Big Sandy Healthcare. With this merger came added funds from the government, which helped in forming a new building for the Mud Creek Clinic, in addition to new equipment and a dental program. The Mud Creek Clinic still accepts the uninsured and doesn't turn a patient away. Eula Hall, though turning 90 in 2017, is still working in the clinic as a social director, providing help and direction for any patients in need of guidance or medical service. Eula's dedication and devotion to providing modern health care to mountain communities has shaped Southern Appalachian society today. Without her efforts, the medical services provided in Southern Appalachia would have still gone overlooked and neglected. Hall was able to bring the attention and the service needed to the communities, which have long been followers to traditional medical practices, absent of government backing or support.